Hello, sports fans. It's me, <clears throat> Sportsman Z, and I'm here the next two games in the 1955 Senator season that I'm playing. Those two games are against the Boston Red Sox, and they will both be in this video. And also, I wanted to show off my uh, new uh, game look. And a shout out goes out to uh, 85 Strat and Moe's Mods on YouTube. Watch them and um, the various episodes that they had about, you know, changing the various panels and um, also the look of the game. So I will. Uh, so I actually. Went in and did that, and uh, I'm liking the results. So, uh, and I, I'll continue to tinker with it probably a little bit um, throughout the season. Try to get it to where I'm actually really happy with it. But for right now, we got a game to play. So, let's go to uh, right here. So, uh, it's already set up for manual. So, I'm going to say play day. And we are at home against the Red Sox. Now, I got to check the team out because we had an injury to um, our third baseman. Um, so we are going to have to see who the computer has decided to play. All right, so he's got Seavers playing third which means he has somebody else at first. Um, Vernon at first. And I didn't mean for it to bring up his card. Uh, I'm trying to see who this the new guy is in the lineup. I mean, because you can, you can shuffle things around all you want, but there's got to be a new guy somewhere. Growth, maybe? Yeah, he hasn't played yet. All right, so, I mean, I guess I'm happy as I can be about that. And we've got Mickey McDermott on the mound going up against uh, Nixon. I don't know what that is. West Nixon? I have no idea. But anyway, we'll find out. So let me turn down the sound. Always forget to do that. And we are ready to play ball, I think. So let's go. I don't know what that, why that came. From. There we go. So you can see this is the new setup I got. Um, not a hundred percent happy with it, but you know we'll see. We'll work on. And we have a leadoff single by Jimmy Pearsall against McDermott. So there's a man on for Boston with Billy Klaus up. And we're holding Pearsall a little closer. And we strike out uh, Billy Klaus. So one down for Boston, Pearsall on, and here comes Ted Williams, the splendid splinter. And he's going to strike out plus his injury. Got to love that. And he has to sit out one day in addition to this, so he'll be gone for this uh, this two-game series. But we watch Jackie Jensen. And then that brings up Zalkin. And there was a pass ball there. So let's see if we can get Zalkin out. And we can. Right between two potential on base chances. When one to, would have knocked in two runs. But it didn't happen. So McDermott gets out of that inning unscathed. And we've got Johnny Growth leading off against Willard Nixon. Not West Nixon. And that's going to be a double goal for Johnny Growth. Getting his first playing time of the year for our senators and there he goes so we got uh ernie or up with a man at second and he grounds out so one out. nobody can advance probably on that so you got pete runnels up 
Did he walk? walk? No, it was a pass ball. I'll take. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second, which should score the run. And it does. And we have a one nothing lead with Vernon up, Mickey Vernon, and he's going to ground out. But the Senators have a one nothing lead on Boston. And Boston this year, was in 1955, was a fairly decent team. They weren't like really good. I wouldn't call them good, but they weren't terrible either. And uh, Grady Halton, looks like, gets out. And Billy Goodman's up. And he's going to hit ground ball to Valdeviso. And that's a miscue. An error by Valdeviso allows Goodman to get on. And that brings up Sammy White, who also now gets aboard the walk. And that'll bring up Willard Nixon with two on and one out. And he's going to hit into a ground ball double play. Thank you very much, says McDermott. And now Sears is up for us. And he leads off with a single. Maybe we can score another run in the second inning. That would be great. Carlos right. Paul. And Carlos Paula with a single. Day. Runners at the corners, maybe? Yes. And is up. And he's going to hit a single and not get a run. I don't think Willard Nixon is long for this game. I am going to hold the runners. And that brings up Bruce Edwards, and he hits a ground ball at the second baseman, but he's a four, so let's see what happens there. And that looks like that was an error. error. Yes. So there is still no outs, and now Mickey McDermott is up at the plate, and he strikes out. And that brings up Johnny Growth. Might be a pass ball that will allow another run to score, and it does. And then Johnny Growth, with his bat, is going to be out on 1-15. Are you killing me? You are killing me. Single one to 15, and he doesn't get it. Oravet is up with two outs and a man 90 feet away, and he blows it. Leaves him stranded. But we do get three runs in the second. I guess I shouldn't be complaining too heartily. As McDermott walks back out there and walks Jimmy Pearsall. So Pearsall now has been on base both times he's been at the plate. Billy Klaus, however, has been out both times, this time flying out to left. So one down in part, Pearsall aboard. Olsen is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball, Carl Olsen. And Jackie Jensen. And Jackie Jensen's out. This is a much better game, uh, i got to say, for Mickey McDermott than the last time he pitched. Pete Runnels is up, and he strikes out. First two innings, we let off with a guy getting a single, but uh, this time, no such luck. Vernon is a ground ball at the first baseman, Zalkin. And he's out, and that brings up Roy Sievers. And Roy Sievers is out. That's just missed a home run. That would have been great. We would have scored at least a run in the first three innings had that happened, but it didn't. We're going over to the top of the fourth. And there's going to be an out. It was a single one to 15 for Zalkin, but he, he pulled it 20. Nice. Hatton is up. Grady Hatton. Oh, all right. Not, a, not Halton. I think I called him Halton last time. Billy Goodman's up with two down. Nobody on. And he hits a ground ball. Bell to Bezo. And he ends up at the second base. Not good. And then a walk to Sammy White. All right, come on, McDermott. Get us out of here. All right, Willard Nixon up. And a uh, pass ball. And then a single by Willard Nixon. Come on. I'm going to throw for the lead. You got to try to get him. Now he scored. So it's 4-2, to two, and now we've walked Pearsall. So Pearsall has been on every single time. The crazy man. And now we get a double. Oh, just perfect. 
Double to the wall by Klaus. That's going to knock in at least Nixon. I'm going to just stop the runners and it's 4-4. Four, four. And then a, a, of course, a triple by Carl Olson. Why not? Yeah, McDermott's tired. I'll bet he is. That brings up Jack Jensen, who hits a double. Or, well, actually, it's going to be a single, but it's going to knock in another run. And now it's 6-4. Just when you thought maybe we would win the game. All right, well, he gets out of the inning. At least I wanted him to at least get us out of the inning. Carlos Paula is up at the plate, and he flies out. This is uh, this game's got um, Ted Abernathy written all over it. Valdivino is going to walk. That brings up Bruce Edwards. All those walks, and he can't get one. All right, ground ball C. Who's Valdivino to second? And oh, I should not have. Well, yeah, actually, it wasn't that bad of an idea. McDermott's got a pretty good hitting card. And Johnny Groth, bro. And Johnny Groth is going to knock in a run. Oh, I'm going to send the lead runner. I'm going to hold on to the trailing runner. All right, so it is six all. Yeah, it's six all. Nice. And now Orvets is up. And Orvets line up. All right, so now we're going to uh, we're going to make the change. We're going to make a change. It's going to feel real good. All right, I'm not going to sing for you guys. Um, last guy was Oravets who got out. Let's see if we got a center fielder that can come in. I mean, hopefully we do. I would like to think we do. Umflit, and he's a better defensive center fielder too, so let's go with that. We'll put Umflit in at center field doing a double the old double switch and then for Oravets we're going to put um, Abernathy in and Abernathy will be the pitcher and we go back and here it is Head at Abernathy and there's a live ball to center and <laughs> How appropriate that I just made the defensive switch there. Billy Goodman. Billy Goodman's out. And that brings up Sammy White. And Sammy White is going to hit a double. That brings up Willard Will Nixon, and Willard Nixon strikes out. So Abernathy gets us out of that inning. 6-6 six, six tie. We send P. Reynolds up against Willard Nixon, and he's out. Mickey Vernon is going to hit a home run on Mickey Vernon. And we take the good seven to six lead. But I don't know how good that is because I doubt that Bernathy can hold it, but let's hope. Seavers with a fly ball, so that'll be two away in the fifth. And then Carlos Paula. And he's going to hit a uh, catch a card X. And he's out. So, so Abernathy back to the mound. Pitching to Pearsall, 
who hit the baseball pole. Pearsall, we can't get Pearsall out to save our lives. He's a fire in our face. All right, so Billy Klaus is up, and Billy Klaus is going to hit a double and knock him in. So now it's tied at seven again. We got a shootout at the old K Corral here. Carl Olson strikes out for the first out of the inning with a man 180 feet away. Jackie Jensen also strikes out. So Abernathy is reaching back for a little extra. And then he strikes out Norm Zuckin as well. So Abernathy gets us out of the inning, but he does give up the tie run. And then we have Pablo as our leadoff hitter. Valdivizo strikes out, or uh, pops out to Klaus. Bruce Edwards up. Again, all those walks. He can manage to hit one of them. Instead, he hits it to gold glove center fielder and man who refuses to get out, Jimmy Pearsall. And then there's a fly ball by him. So we're going to the top of the seven. I'm, I've still got my main man, Adam, out there. Pop out the Valdiviso, one away. Billy Goodman up. Strikeout. Abernathy reaching back. Got to wonder how much he's got in the tank, though. Sammy White is going to hit a ball first, and he's out of the inning. So Boston gets nothing in the seventh. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. With... Johnny Gross getting out, striking out. Uh, this would be a good time to take Abernathy out, I think, so we are going to do that. Um, let's see. Home. Who should pinch it? Not that we have any good choices. It would appear we don't. I'm going to pinch hit Killebrew for Abernathy. And he's going to ground. And then Pete Reynolds comes up with two down, and he strikes out, and I need a new pitcher. So we will we need to put somebody in for Killebrew as a pitcher. And let me, I got to check my bullpen guys that are eligible. You know what? I'm going to go with Chikales. He came in and pitched well in game one of the of the season. So I'm going to hope he can keep it going. And he's pitching to Willard Nixon if they don't pinch hit, and they do. And the pinch hitter was Ted Lapicio, and he strikes out. Jimmy Pearsall, oh, let's see if he gets on again. No, we finally got him out. out. Finally. Somebody figured out how to get him out. And Billy Klaus is up. And he walks. Billy Klaus has also been a thorn in our side last game. And then uh, Carl Olson grounds out. We go to the bottom of the eighth. We have a chance here. To score a run, run. Well, I mean, we always do. But if we score a run here, we can then shut them down in the ninth. We win. Roy Sears is up, and he strikes out again, right next to a home run. And Carlos Paula is going to ground out. We're sending Chikalis, Chikalis, it's how I pronounce his name, out to the mound. 
Growth is a two. So, yeah, I mean, we got a good outfield out there defensively, at least. Zalkin. Zalkin hits a ground ball to a good shortstop. And he gets an infield hit. No, he's charged with an error. made an error. All right, now he we got a... Okay. We're going to leave it like that because that is holding him. Fly ball for uh, Grady Hatton. So, uh, if we can get good and then maybe score a run, well, all right, we can't get good for one thing. And that might actually even score a run, but we'll see. No, it doesn't. So, let's get to Anthony White and let's, uh, no. No, in fact, he gives up a two run double. Now we got to get two runs just to tie the game again. The frustration is going to come through all season long. This is the Senators, after all. So another so ground ball, ball to the shortstop, which then reminding me that we could have been out of this inning with no runs allowed. But Valdivio has made two errors in this game. And now he brings in a reliever. Ellis Kinder comes in to, to face Valdivizo. He grounds and Valdivizo grounds out. Bruce Edwards is up. Second base. base four. He throws it away, though. So we still got a chance. Umlet batting, striking out. And Johnny Grove, two for four with two doubles. And that's a wild pitch. And then he hits a fly ball. And we're going home losers in this one. Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Quite an effort by everybody involved, but we lost 9-7. So let's get the box score. Quickly look at that. Um... I mean, the hitting, you really can't say enough about the hitting. That was that was not the problem. Uh, McDermott went four, though, allowed six earned runs. And uh, is not doing well in the year. Abernathy went three, gave up one earned run. And Chikales went two and gave up no earned runs, but... Uh, two runs did score while he was out there. So. so we are back at the main menu, and we will do the next game. And that will be uh, play day. And then we'll chalk this one up. Schmitz is pitching in game two. And if you're seeing a lot of the same pitchers, it's because we've had so many days off that I've been able to go with the top pitchers in the rotation. I haven't had to go to like the third or fourth or fifth starter yet. Um, and many baseball seasons start off sort of like that way. But uh, yeah, we're, I'll, uh, I'll go with the lineup that they're recommending and then we'll get started. So there he is, Schmitz, out on the mound, pitching to Pearsall. Pearsall continues to be the bane of my existence. Uh, who knew that this guy was really that good? Billy Klaus is up. Was this before he had all of his, like, psychological problems? He's out. He's out. Jackie Jensen's up. All these guys, guys hitting triples and doubles. I mean, they're wearing out this field. And my pitching staff. Zalkin is up. He hits a ground ball to first for, for second out. And Brady Hatton. And he hits a single. The only thing in the... Well, all right. It's not quite the only thing. But he drives the second run for Boston. 
And now we got a single one to go 15, which puts runners at first and second. And then finally, somebody hits a ground ball and ends this inning, in which Boston scores two runs. So, so Tom Brewer is pitching against Johnny Growth. And he grounds out. Ernie Oravets gets a single. We got a man aboard, one out, Runnels out. Uh, second base, Bateman is a four. Too much to hope. No, it isn't too much to hope for. He makes another error. I think the guy has had three X possibilities in this series. And he's made an error every single time. So we got two out, receivers up. Runners, all right. Now the, the bases are juiced now with Roy Severs walking and Carlos Paula up. And he strikes out. Carlos Paula. I see a lot online about him when I was going and trying to get some pictures and everything of players and, you know, research Washington a little bit. Saw a lot about Carlos Paula, but I don't know. I think it was all overblown because he's not very good. Uh, Tom Brewer up with one out, and he is going to pop out. So there's two down. And Pearsall. Pearsall, who's about 900 against us this series, hits one to Oravets, who's probably not going to play the ball. And doesn't, and allows Pearsall to have a double. And then, of course, poor Billy Clydeos hits a single. i got to walk both of those guys. Uh, I got to throw for the runner because, I mean, we can't allow runs to score. And we just did. And this guy got, misses a single one to 17, thankfully. So they, Boston gets another to run. So they got a 3 nothing lead. We really have got to get off our horses really quickly here. Edwards, the walking man. Who can't manage to do it. do it. And then Josh Schmitz hits with two down. And he strikes out. So, Norm Zawkin up against it. Schmitz. And he allows a double to Zawkin. Ray Hatton is up. He ground ball. Sammy White with one out and a man at second. Ground ball to third. Seavers is a good five rating over there. And of course, that allows runners to be at the corners. But there's a strikeout to Billy Goodman. Now, Billy Goodman, I will say, has been one of our friends because he always seems to come up in key situations and quite often gets out. And Gene Stevens strikes him. So no runs come in for Boston, though it looked like that was going to happen in the third. We go to the bottom of the third, down 3 nothing, and a walk to growth. And Orvets is up, and he hits a ground ball. So now it'll be Orvets at first. Pete Reynolds is up. He hits a ground ball B. So now Reynolds will be at first. And that brings up Vernon. And Vernon hits a single. I'm going to hold the runners. And Seavers is up. And Seavers is hitting a triple. Love that. And we needed it too. So now it's 3-2. And of course, Carlos Paul up and getting out. So, uh, two runs do score for us, though, and now we're only down by a run. Tom Brewer up at the plate facing Schmitz, who has really been putting in the time. I mean, this is his third start. And this is only our, like, um, like sixth game of the year, sixth or seventh game of the year. 
And there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Billy Klaus gets a single. Klaus and um, and Pearsall have been absolutely tearing us apart. Jackie Jensen up, and Jackie Jensen's out. So Valdivizo, come on, come on, let's get some runs, guys. No, follow a lot of magic here. Bruce Edwards, I just can't get over all those walks and how I can't seem to hit any of them. And Johnny Bishops, and he strikes out. And we'll go to the top of the fifth, down 3-2, ground ball by Norman Zawkin. Brady Hatton is up. He walks. Sammy White is out. It was single one. And he got a two. Billy Goodman. Billy Goodman continues to be our good friend on the Boston Red Sox. So we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Still only down by a run with growth up and growth singling. Growth. Why wasn't I playing growth? I should have done some research because this guy's been great in, you know, with the uh, injury there. All right. And we got to walk and Runnels up. Come on. No outs. Let's capitalize on this. But no, no. he lines out to the first baseman. Zawkin. Mickey Vernon up, he's two for two, though, and he strikes out. And up steps Sievers. And Sievers walks to load the bases. Now, ah, we really need a run, and of course, who's up? up? Carlos Paula. And of course, he gets out. Um, Gene Stevens up to face Schmitz, strikeout. Tom Brewer up, and he is going to single. Here's Pierce Saul. I expect fully, yes, I was going to say, fully expect a base hit. Uh, I'm just going to stop the runner. There's one out. Let's hope that this is the one time we get Billy Klaus out. Oh, hold on. The ball. The ball. Now I'm going to walk. And we're going to face Jack Jenkins. And he hits a ground ball third base B, but that will allow a run to score. It didn't. Huh. All right. And then a fly ball to left. left. And that's growth. And he's a two. He can make that play. So, uh, yeah. How about that? I thought we for sure were going to give up another run. But Valvies flies out to lead off the bottom of the sixth. Then uh, Billy Edwards. Billy Edwards, he hit one of those walks. I mean, I'm sorry to get so excited, but the guy has 50 walks on his card, and he can't hit one of them. Commissions is up, and he strikes out. And Johnny Growth is up, and he strikes out. So, we are really... I mean, these have been two games where we could easily have won two, both games. And, you know, I don't know that we haven't won game two when all is said and done. But ground ball, and that's two down. And Billy Goodman. And Billy Goodman finally gets a hit, but this time it wasn't in a key situation. And Gene Stevens up, 
And he gets a single one, which we will not cut. So, we're going to the bottom of the seventh after the seventh inning stretch. We're only down by a run. I mean, come on. Line out to first for Oravets. Runnels up. He walks. All right. All right. All right. Let's get something going here. Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon walks. I can buy into that. Seavers is up, and they're going to maybe make a pitching change, and they do. They bring in Leo Keeley. And that, my friends, is a three run home run by Roy Seavers. Greeting Gilly. And we take the lead, and there goes the fireworks, and everybody's happy right now for the moment. Here's Paula. Paula gets a single. Yeah, it must be really uh, foreshadowing for us. Val is up with only one out this whole time, and he pops out for that second out. And that brings up the other words. And there's another walk. He hits twice in a row now. He's hit those one of those 50 walks on his card. Schmidt, you know what? This is, uh, it's tough, but I got to let him hit. Ground ball A, because I mean, our only chance is if this guy gets a complete game and pitches continues to pitch great. Top of the eighth. Boston only with two more chances, but... Carl Olson gets a single. Pierce all three for four. But there's a kick at our next. Vet. Come on, Oravets. And that's one out. Thank you. Klaus is up. Klaus pops out short. And Jack J. Jensen. Jackie Jensen is out. Single one to 11. And he got a 20. So Boston only has one more shot here in this game. Growth is up and he walks. Nice. The only thing in the column and he got it. Oravets. Oravets hits a fly ball. Runs up. And he hits a ground ball C, so there's two outs, but now we got a man 180 feet away. And Mickey Brennan up. And he hits a fly ball to right, which was not the place to hit that. Well, really, the outfield in general isn't a place to hit it. And I'm going to make a, uh, not a pitching change, but I am going to make a defensive replacement. We are going to put... Um, Umflit in at center field for Oravets. You can bet on that. So, Zawak in the face, Schmitz. Ground ball. We only need two more outs. Hatton up. Hatton walks. Come on, Schmitz. Come on. Sammy White. Sammy White. It's a single. We do have a two-run lead, but still. Goodman's up, and maybe they'll pinch hit for Goodman. No. And he hits a fly ball to center. We'll score um, Hatton, but that will still make it 5-4. Um, with two down and Keeley up, and they pinch hit for him. Head to Lapicio is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball. Second has Runnels. Oh my God! They did they? No, they didn't tie the game. No. Ah, I got a lot of tired Olson pit or uh, tired Schmidt's pitch, and it pays off. He gets the out, yeah. and we walk away with the win.
So let's see on the year what um, Paula. Paula's, well, he's hitting 250. I would never have guessed Paula's hitting 250. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at Schmitz, man. Three and O oh with a 277 earned run average. That guy's been our MVP so far. But yeah, there you go. Six games, he's pitched three of them. That guy's about ready to put his arm on ice. But we do split with Boston, so I'm going to call that good. And uh, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.